Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm back again here with another logic tutorial. I wanted to briefly go over dubstep, how to make that that wobble in logic. Um, I know a lot of people have been getting into dubstep. I have. I've been in dubstep for a long time. Um, it's just very, very hard to produce. That's why there's a very limited number of incredible dubstep DJs. Um, but I will do my best to show you how to make some sick dubstep, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Alright, let's do this. Alright. I just opened up a brand new logic file. I put a, a quick drum beat in there. I tried to get it as much dubstep y and offbeat and crazy as I possibly could in a short amount of time. I kicked the tempo up just a little bit because dubstep songs do tend to be um, a higher tempo than 120, which is what Logic starts out to be. So um, keep that in mind. And then I'm just going to start a new track down here, a new software instrument. And I'm going to open up the ES2. Now, if you don't know anything about the ES2, I would suggest going and figuring out how to use it. Um, this is where I'm, most of the dubstep creation, that wobble, is going to be made, right in here. So if you would like to go um, find another tutorial, or at some point in time, I should have one up over the ES2, um, be my guest. You would, it wouldn't help, I mean, it wouldn't hurt at all. Only help. So what I did was I said I have a different default than, um, than, than when I first started out with Logic. Um, I saved a different default. So um, how to make this what I have right here. Uh, do the drop down menu and then you can go to tutorial settings and then click analog saw in it and then all I did was move this up to the sine wave up here and then turned all of these off down here simple enough what this does is it creates a very very um, blank slate for us in this ES2 synthesizer so we can start from scratch building these wobbles all right. So this first synth I'm going to be using, it's just going to be a sine wave with a little bit of a little bit of just static in it. And you can hear what it sounds like. Oh, really high. Just basic like just basic sine wave pretty much. That's all it is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this second and I'm going to come bring this down to this sine down here. And what I can do is right click on this, and you have a, a bunch of different um, uh, presets that you can use for this. Um, you, I haven't had time to look through all of these, uh, but I know glass are very good. Some of the, oh, where, where are they? The saws are good. Some of the saws are good. Um, organs are good. Um, you're just going to have to go through this and find out exactly what you like. But for this tutorial, I'm going to have glass 3 on there. And then what I'm going to do is, for this first one, I'm going to pull this down to negative 24. Sometimes you can even do negative 12, depending on um, how deep you want that sign base to be. And then I'm just going to have it at 0 for the, the glass 3 synthesizer. Bring this out to the middle here, about. And now, as you can tell, that's going to be a very, very dirty sound. That's what we're going for. Uh, that's definitely what we're going for. With dubstep, it's always it's always very dirty, and you get that like nice, crunchy, I don't know, just dirty feeling about it. There's no other word besides dirty, I guess, that I can think of. So anyway, now that you have that, what you can do is you can come over here and do I do cut off one and two, and then I set it to envelope, or sorry. LFO, LFO2, and LFO2 is right here. And what is nice about setting it to LFO2 is that down here you can set it to, you can sync it to the different beats. I'm going to sync it to one eighth there, and then I'm going to have this. Make sure this is up all the way, and then what should happen is, boom! That is your wobble. Now you can cha you can change it. Um, I'll just move this bar up and down and show you exactly what the sync this LFO2 does for it. Mm -hmm. 
So you can definitely change the timing of how fast you want the wobbles to go through this LFO2 rate, okay? Um, so there you go. That's basically how to do a dubstep wobble. There is so more, so many more things you can do with it. Up here is the, this is the filter right here. And what you can do is this cutoff right here, if you keep it all the way to the right, this cutoff right here, um, you can you can mess with this cutoff and it sounds different um, for how much you put on it. So here, at the very, all the way full, this is what it sounds like. And as you move it down, it gets shorter and shorter and shorter. So um, some some people want it, some people want it all the way full. I just do just 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 nearly full. Um, that's how I like it. You can definitely do whatever you would like. Um, you can put some FM static in there, some just just whatever. Um, sine wave, I usually kick that up a little bit. And then over here at the distortion, usually you can put it up, but I'm going to keep this down just because I'm going to show you a different plugin that makes a little bit better um, crunch, a little bit better um, distortion on top of that um, wobble. So there you are, that's basically how to do it. I should be making a tutorial over um, how to control the pitch, how to make it um, um, just do funny things, how to make the wobble do funny things. Um, that, that, that would be more in an advanced stage of this. So um, be waiting for that logic tutorial. Should have that up pretty soon. Um, so yeah, here we go. We have this this dirty wobble here. And I'm just going to keep it at 1 8 and I'm going to close out of this. And then what I'm going to do is the distortion that I, would, I like is the bit crusher here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down this resolution, or I'm going to bring it to 18 bit, keep it pretty low, and I'm going to down sample it just a small bit. And then what it sounds like is down sample it as much as you want until you get that that perfect tone that you would like. Mess with the drive until you get it to a level where it's not clipping too bad. Um, obviously, here's your clip level. Um, so there you are. You can that doesn't change it too much. With such a dirty, um, just staticky uh, wobble, this these modes aren't going to uh, change it too too terribly much. So just keep it there. Um, you can definitely experiment with the other. Um, with the other distortions, there's a lot of different things you can do out there. I know a lot of tutorials don't even show you how to do distortion. Um, they just leave it with the ES2 and they just let you roll with it. Um, I found that a little bit of distortion outside of the ES2 goes a long way. And another thing I also like to put on it is a little bit of reverb, just a teeny bit of reverb. That just adds a little bit better effect to it. I'm going to go to my space designer. I'm going to drop down menu. I'm going to go to small spaces. Uh, let's go halls and ambience hall. I'm going to bring that reverb just down a little bit. That's a little bit too much still. There you go. You can you can hear a little bit of that reverb in there. Um, it, it, it turns out I love the sound of reverb on it, almost anything. So that that really that really does it for me. You can you can choose to do that mess again with the other reverbs plugins in there. There's so many different things you can do with this. Uh, something that I've done before, um, I wouldn't recommend it too much, but you can also pitch shift it. Mess with this pitch shifter plugin down here. You can definitely get a lot of different sounds with that also. Um, so yeah, you can you can also mess with working with this third um, synthesizer inside the ES2. Uh, that's definitely helpful. And now, when we get to this beat here, I'll, I'll show you this here quick. Um, kind of rough. Just something that I made up quick. But um, I'm just going to play this and play the dubstep over it. Um, it's not going to sound professional by no means, but uh, there's definitely a lot of tweaking that can go into it. 
and I can show you that in just a second. So, um, yep, let's just give this a try here. Um, I'm going to turn up the LFO just a little bit, maybe a 1 16th. Um, I don't know. There's a lot to do. Um, what what you can do is how I was changing that LFO up and down. You can press A and get to the automation. You can definitely go into your um, ES2 plugin, and then you can go to let's see what what is it? LFOs. Um, LFO two rate. This is where you can um, automate the speed at which your um, the speed at which you your wobble is, so you can you can keep it at one eighteen for the beginning part. Let me get there, and then I'm gonna bring it up. Hopefully, to one sixteen, and I'll just show you. See, I'll just play a note straight through and show you. There you go. You can automate how each sound plays as it gets to a certain point. I've also seen a lot of people um, copy this. Just come up here and duplicate this and have this one be a, I don't know, you can keep it at maybe a fourth and keep this one at the eight, at an eighth. And then you can just mix and match these two together to create whatever you would like. I've seen people do that before also. So there you are, basically how to create wobbles, how to automate them, how to make them sound a little bit better. Um, you're going to definitely need to do a lot more editing uh, inside. I'm going to have to work with that drum beat a lot more. Um, but yeah, you just pretty much just tweak those settings a little bit just to get that perfect sound that you're looking for. Hope this helps, everyone. I should soon be making a tutorial over advanced dubstep techniques. Um, modulation and pitch or pitch um, modulation I guess you could say also so um, stay tuned for that also uh, yeah so comment if you have any questions rate and subscribe everyone have a great day